The twin Voyager spacecraft were launched 35 years ago in the summer of 1977 with the mission of exploring Jupiter and Saturn, and they're still going strong. They don't get much press these days, and you might have even forgotten that they were out there. They're still doing some awesome science. Voyager 2 went on to Uranus and Neptune, and it remains the only craft to have ever visited those planets. Voyager 1, on the other hand, was given a different objective. Deep space, and it alone will take humanity's reach further than it's ever gone, possibly further than it will ever go. So in honor of its 35 years of service, here are three things that you probably didn't know about Voyager 1. One, it's about to become the first man-made object to leave the solar system, if it hasn't already, that is. As we speak, Voyager 1 is more than 18 billion kilometers from Earth. That's about 3.5 billion kilometers farther than Voyager 2, and it's hurtling through space at more than 61,000 kilometers per hour. NASA scientists think that it's probably in the heliosheath, which is the outermost layer of the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles given off by the sun that surrounds the solar system. They're predicting that it will officially reach interstellar space some time between now and 2015. Two, it's still recording and sending back data. Even though its primary mission ended in 1980, Voyager 1 is still very much operational, and we're still learning from it. Six of its 11 original instruments are still working, including the equipment that measures magnetic fields and cosmic radiation and ultraviolet emissions. In March of 2011, the spacecraft was repositioned for the first time in 21 years to better study the behavior of charged particles in deep space. Three months later, NASA said Voyager's observation suggested that the edge of the solar system is not smooth, but rather filled with what they called a turbulent sea of magnetic bubbles millions of kilometers wide. And in December of 2011, it made its first ever observation of ionized hydrogen emissions from the Milky Way, an observation astronomers use with other galaxies to determine their rate of star formation. Keep them coming, V'ger. Three. It still has between 8 and 15 years to go. Voyager's powered by the natural decay of plutonium-238. It makes for a pretty awesome long-lasting battery, but it loses about 4 watts of power every year. So, it has enough electrical power and thruster fuel to keep working until at least 2020, but NASA plans to turn off all the instruments by 2025. Once that happens, when it's 48 years old and 20 billion kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 will spend eternity as a floating beacon in space. You've probably heard of the famous golden record it's carrying to tell other civilizations about us. It has thousands of recordings of sounds and greetings from our world leaders, all kinds of music, and also tons of crazy pictures of airplanes, supermarkets, traffic, animals, human anatomy, and demonstrations of how to lick ice cream. Seriously. So Voyager 1, Thanks for everything you've done, and everything you have yet to do. Forever. And also, thank you for watching this episode of SciShow. If you have any ideas or questions or comments, please leave them down below in the YouTube comments or on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll see you next time.